Hi, Cali Kids. I just wanted to go over a few really quick things about mixed numbers and improper fractions. This goes back to lesson 25 on Zern. And um, remember in Zern and in fractions, they want you to remember to decompose mixed numbers and use the same denominator to show whole numbers. So let's take a look at this one on the top here. So three and one fourth um, would, would change into three fractions below to show three whole numbers. So I'm gonna put four fourths on each of those. And then we still have the one fourth. So that means there are a total of 12 fourths over here, because if you count by fours, four, eight, 12, plus one fourth over here, that equals up to 13 fourths. So this type of number with the numerator that's larger than the denominator, remember that's called an improper fraction. A mixed number has a whole number in front with a fraction behind it. So they are still equivalent, but this sometimes can get confusing when you, when you, when you are asked to change it to, third, to an improper fraction. I'm a little tongue-tied. Um, anyway, to show this on a number line, I would change my intervals over here between my different whole numbers so that they would have four spaces here. And in order to show 13 fourths, I would simply count by four fourths each time I hit a whole number and keep adding those together until I got to the number three. Remember, that's our whole number. And then I'd add one more fourth to show this on a number line. So you can see that is shown on a number line. Now down below, if you want to try this one before me, here's the whole, um, the mixed number with the whole number in front. And here's your answer you already know. But see if you can pause your video of me right now and try this on a piece of paper, see if you can get it right. So I'm just gonna take a break for a minute. Okay, ready to keep going? I'm gonna um, go ahead and show you how two would look using fifths. So we have five fifths plus five fifths. And then we still have that four fifths, which comes from the mixed number. Over here, I would show this on a number line and I would go plus five fifths and then plus another five fifths. So, so far that's 10 fifths. And then I would go over here plus four fifths. And that shows that the mixed number two and four fifths equals 14 fifths. So those are just a few strategies to help you continue on in fractions. We miss teaching you. Bye.